I'm back. Finally, right? Yes. And today, your girl is going to do a review on the also anticipated. I was anticipating this, y'all. You know, I'm always anticipating something. The new Rihanna. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Yes. Her new hydration long wearing foundation. Yes, I finally got it. And I got it in the shade 350. So I'm going to be doing a review on this. And I have one more thing. Can you guess what it is? Can you? Can you? Can you? Drum roll, please. <laughs> It was the last one in Sephora and I got it. Yes. And the packaging is just as beautiful as everyone has said. Um very luminous and colorful and you know uh crocodile like so yes i'm gonna be doing a review on this so let's go ahead and get started i already have my brows on um excuse if you say any hows or whatever i try to conceal those so for my primer i'm going to be using the makeup forever sample that i got for free yes i did oh it's a little hair i got it for free with my points at the for and it's the step one makeup forever smoothing primer I'll put a little bit of that on and y'all let me tell y'all what happened how about i recorded this whole video right <laughs> and i like this primer because it's mattifying and i think i might need that considering that I have oily or combination skin, so I have kind of like an oily T-zone, and I think with the Luminous Foundation, this will help reduce the oiliness. Yes. Y'all, I recorded this whole video, and I'm going with the foundation, and <laughs> I thought I was recording the video. And nothing recorded. Yeah. Period. But I did get some cute selfies. But bruh. The whole video. And this is really nice. And I know if you haven't seen it. Fenty I like it. It looks kind of like a BB cream. and But it has a pump. So I like that. Yes. Whole video recorded. Well. Thought was recorded. And to my dismay, I'm talking about I had my brows on, I had the foundation on, I had did my eye sh eyeshadow. Everything was done with my lipstick. And nothing was recording. Yes. So this time I pray. It's recording. Matter of fact, hey Brad, come look at make sure this light on. No, I'm saying the light to record is on. Thank God for kids. You supposed to say RC? Yeah. Oof, I'm just saying it's on. Okay, woo! -hoo. Okay. So I'm recording. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? And sorry if you hear any noise or any crying in the back. Yes, I have four kids. If you don't know already. And I have a seven month old. Or at least almost eight months. Maybe eight months at the end of this week. On the 30th. And he is crying. And he's teething. But I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Anyway. I'll put a little bit more um, 
foundation underneath my eyes to cover up all these bags. I'm staying up late with this baby. With my sweet baby. And then we're gonna move on to the fun stuff. But um when I originally did the uh matte foundation review, I was in like a 360 or 370, something like that. And I ended up taking it back to the store. I still have 360, but I ended up taking the 370 and the consumer day from the store because it just it just wasn't doing right on my face. They didn't have the 350 in at the time because you know it was so popular that I couldn't get my hands on it. But now they have it available, thank the Lord. And this is the 350, and I think this is really my color. What y'all think? Yes, it looks like skin. And that's what I like about this foundation. It gives with the um, illuminating formula, hydrating form, excuse me, hydrating formula. It looks more like skin. It doesn't give you that cakey look that the matte foundation gives. So if I really want that beat beat look, you know, I pull out my matte for this for an everyday look. I think this works great. Okay, now I'm putting concealer on. I'm using the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. And I'm using Warm Sand. You know, everything happens for a reason. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going, you know. Okay, now take this with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Can't get upset. Can't cross the milk. I don't know why my husband gonna open that door. Hey Brady, can you go uh close the door for me? Let me wet my beauty blender. Wait, wait. Give this bath for the night. My daughter is giving him a bath. <laughs> it's not like my husband just got sprayed in there. <laughs> so usually I have them change them during the day, on the, during the week. On the weekend, it's his time. <laughs> so like he got it. <laughs> no, I don't know if y'all heard it or not. That's hilarious. All right, beat it in there, beat it in there, beat it. Okay, okay, come on. All right, Woo. next, we are going to do the put on my setting powder, and I am using the black radiance. Black Radiance, um, Loose Setting Powder in True Complexion in the color Banana. Okay, so using a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And if y'all don't know me, this is the first time watching my video. Everything is a song with me. I'm a true worshiper at heart. Yes. I'm always taking out the All right, and this is hopefully going to catch any fallout. Ooh, I'm always dropping something. <laughs> any fallout? I look a little strange. Yes. Any fallout that might come from my palette? Okay. So we done with that. Okay. 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 All right, now. Take it, 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 take
and that is this one. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm sorry for credit, which is that one. And it's gonna put it in the outer V. I'm gonna use mirrors on here. How about that? And then it'll look all over there. And I like these fellas because they have a mirror on the inside. I ain't got to look so far. And as y'all know, I'm a little blind. <laughs> I have my contacts in today. So, you guys can actually see the makeup. Okay, so that's pretty. And, make sure I get a little even. Use my little wipe and wipe it up. And it looks kind of like a brown, a chocolate brown in the palette, but on my eye, it's showing up more as a burgundy to me. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna do the purple look because purple is my favorite color. So I'm gonna also go in my V and blend in the big wig, which is this dark purple. I love me some purple. And it's hard for me to find a nice purple these days. So I'm going to give this a try. Again. Give it a try, give it a try, 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 try. Give it first, you don't to see. Just Push yourself off and try again, try again. <laughs> and now I'm going to go in with Shooking Thumb. Shooking Thumb is this pretty, 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 pretty metallic purple. I hope y'all can see me. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, Jackie, you did this purple, honey. That is pretty, baby. That is pretty. Yes. Purple, 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 purple. Can y'all see that purple? Oh, that's pretty. I probably went up a little too high with that darker color, but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna blend it in with the brush that is in the palette. And that's what I like Anastasia and that. It was $45. Let's pause. Cut the record. It was $45. But these colors are beautiful. They are super pigmented. Super, super pigmented. And I forgot to even put my um eye concealer on. I did not whip the brush. And look how beautiful it is. So it's worth every pretty ladies. Every penny. And usually, like when I have purples and I try to do purple looks. So my other palettes, once I blended it in, it didn't pop like this. Like it's like pop, pop, pop. Can you see that? Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I'm going to blend it again and again. I'm going to leave it in the horse lines. No horse lines. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to go in and do my eyeliner. And I'm using the Rimmel London Gel Eyeliner in Black. So I'm gonna have to use this mirror because I ain't even gonna lie. It gets hard to see in that full mirror I have over there. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I swear. It's like a musical play in the house. Between me and my board of singing. And the board that can see it. Yeah, I know. If you had kids, you know. And by the way, I'm going to be honest and say, I don't know nothing about lashes. So today, we're going to do like an everyday look for me. <laughs> this is my everyday lamp, my version of the everyday lamp look. This is more like a date night, go to church. Look. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't straight on his second time. Oh, my God. She's so quiet. Yes. Woo. Yes. setting powder with my kabuki burst and I look y'all I'm using this old coastal scent set I don't know the numberings on these I got this like from Dan I was on Black Friday like 10 years ago I just used it it don't have no numbers on it <laughs> but this is like a, a kabuki brush and I just use a flat um, foundation brush to put on the foundation Okay, so I brushed that off. Now I'm gonna come to it and be done. I put a lipstick on when we be done. Cause I'm usually a 10 minute girl. I like to do my, my makeup in 10 minutes or less. Oh, and I'm gonna put on a little mascara. And this one is, oh, so ratchet. But it's Wet and Wild. Um, the three in one. And I'm just gonna put this on real quick. Now in real life, it take me maybe, um, 10 to 15 minutes to do my makeup. If I just do foundation, a little concealer, and then powder. Excuse me, my son. Hi, mommy. Hi, oh, no, mommy. I'm almost done. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost done. Yeah, who did it? Leah. Did your sister do it? 